Welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about using variants with Mac ports. So if you're not familiar with Mac ports, it's a system that allows you to install software on a Mac system using the command line, and it's similar to like the apt package manager on Linux. So I'll put a link below to a video I have where I install Mac ports on a Mac. So variants allow for some flexibility in installing packages. So if you go to the Mac ports website, it has a page that talks about variants, but I'm going to go to the home page here and I'll click on available ports. And for my example, I'll use FFmpeg. So if I go to that page, scroll down here, click on FFmpeg, I'll scroll down and it says variants and it says Darwin SSL, GPL2, GPL3, Jack, LibDC1394, LibRTMP, non-free, universal, and X11. So if you want to use non-free code in your FFmpeg, when you go to install it, you can type sudo space port space install space FFmpeg space and then plus non-free. I'll hit enter here and this will install the non-free version of FFmpeg. So that means you could use it, but you're not allowed to redistribute it because the licensing does not allow you to do that. And there we go. So it says FFmpeg has the following notes. This build of FFmpeg includes non-free code as follows, libfdk-aac. So this code is non-free and it's not in the default build of FFmpeg. So you don't have to go to the website, you can type sudo space port space variants space and then ffmpeg and this will also show you the different variants. So we installed non-free. So along with typing plus non-free, you could type minus and then if we look down through here you see this plus next to GPL2, we could say minus GPL2 and that would disable this variant. Let's look at another package. Let's look at Apache 2. So here we can type sudo space port space install space Apache 2 space and then minus pre fork mpm. So this would install the Apache package and it would not install the pre fork mpm. So other variants you could do could be like universal. So this would allow it to run on different systems. So I haven't tested this. I don't know if this would work on ARM, PowerPC, Intel. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but you could try that out. So that's how you can use variants with Mac ports to get different versions of the packages you install. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.